Okay, here we go with turn one. And hopefully uh, I can get through this pretty good. So, Hulk Hohen is going to, he starts on uh, the mission area. From here, this is a range one. To make the entrance, you have to um, pay three cards. But, because he has that number there, he only has to pay one card if he wanted to move forward. But he's not going to move forward right now. What he's going to do is negotiate these terrorists that are in there so he can move forward. So what he's going to do is we're going to pick out the gunman. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is to hit the gunman, we're going to use our M16A4 rifle. Okay. Now, I'm going to use the burst, which gives me two dice, okay, and because it's range one, I need eights. But, he has a sight attached to it, the ACOG sight, which adds one to a weapon's attack roll, so now he needs a seven. But he also has marksman. Add one to your ranged attack, uh, attack rolls. So now he needs a six. So now we're going to take two ten sided dice and a d6. The reason we take a d6 is the gunman, and right there, will go duck for cover if I roll under a three on a two sided die. I mean, on a six sided die. So let's see what we get here. Okay. The six means that they don't duck for cover. I got a four, which we needed a six, so that is a miss. But I got an eight, and all I needed was a six. So that means that I've got one hit on the gunman. But I have a card. Play when you inflict, inflict a kill at range 2. Well, well, that's not range 2, that's range 1. Pay 2 experience points. Well, that's not going to help us. So, what he's going to do is he's going to take another shot. Because he has one more action. Well, he has two more actions, actually. So let's see how that works out for him. All right, a three ties it. That was close, but we don't have to reload, which is good because we've only got six clips. A one is a complete and utter miss, but a nine is... Oh, wait, hold on. Because I rolled a one, I have to... I empty my clip. So that means I have five clips left on this particular weapon. But the other one, which was a nine, which means... <sighs> forgive my great camo work. That's a second hit, and it kills the gunman. And, because we killed the gunman, we move them to the discard pile. Put those back there, and we get one experience point for that. So now he has two experience points. He still has one action, because as you see, I'm doing one extra action each go this turn. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a shot at the RPG team. Let's try to get. So, again, oh no, you cannot shoot. It's a good thing I pay attention to that. I can use the last action to reload. So now we only have five clips left. What happens when that comes up, you can reload. So now 
these all loaded for his next turn. And that takes care of him. So now we're going to move to our non-player soldier. His health is three, so he gets three actions. He has the shotgun. And it has a range zero, which doesn't really help us. So, hmm. We can use an action, and he can get an experience point from Hohen, which will cash in, and he can actually take in a move action, which will be one. Two, he'll be within zero range because he'll be within the area. And he will take his third action, which won't cost him anything because he doesn't have to pay any cards to get in there. But he is going to take a shot at the RPG team again. So, what he needs, because he has the shotgun, he needs a five to kill, which is great and a 2 to reload. So he only gets one die and one d6. Now the RPG team has four to dive into the cover. So we've got to make sure that we hit these guys. Alright, he hits with the five but they ducked back in the cover so they are suppressed. And when they're suppressed, which means they cannot fire back, which is good. And there's no gun gunmen to screen them. So that's all his exciting actions. So now, shotgun, grenade, and he has close combat. Oh, hold on. Let's see what close combat does. I don't think I pulled it out. If I did, it might have boogied on out. Well, anyways, we'll come back to that. Actually, we don't have to. I am holding this, so we're going to just find that card real quick. Close combat. And it's not in that pile. So it must be a skill. And as you can see, this can get pretty... Ah, here we go. Add one to your attack rolls. Okay, so that's kind of academic. Alright, so we're going to go on to um, this guy here. And he gets three actions. And at range one with that particular weapon we need eights and he has a scope so let's see what the scope gives us use the weapons range one kill and reload numbers to attack targets at range two well that doesn't help us any he does have sniper training which that doesn't help us either so we've got to try to hit on some eights here so we're going to burst and let's see if we, we can finish off that RPG team. Alright, alright. They ducked, but they went into suppression. And as you can see, we didn't roll under 2 here, but we did get a 10. So that is a second suppression. So that's one action. So we're going to try it again. 4-3, this time they did not duck behind the cover, but we did not get enough to do it. And for his last action, okay, we got a kill there. So we'll flip that over. So now, we're going to move on to our next guy, which is Mitten here. He has three actions. And if we move this over a little bit, he gets a burst. And at range one, 
we need eight. So again, we're going to try to kill the RPG team. And this time we got him because we got the nine, a four, and a four. So this is a really good roll. And that takes care of the RPG team. So we're making some headway here. Hopefully, we can get the rest of these guys out of the way. So we'll take those two out. Now we have the insurgents, which they will get, if there's four of them, they will get four, hmm, three actions, one wound, they would need five or eights, minus four to roll, so they would need sixes. Oh boy, this isn't fun. Or do I go after the sniper? I think we're going to try to go after the sniper. He has a 5 rating, but we can suppress him. So we still don't have two actions. So if we can suppress him and suppress one of the insurgents, we'll be all right. All right. Well, we rolled and got past the cover. And let's see what he has. Oh, but he has add one. He has the two sights that you could put on. Add one to the weapon weapons defeat cover roll. That's good. Add one to the re weapons attack roll. So we needed sevens, and we did not get that. But we did defeat the cover. So that would, according to this, defeat cover roll, succeed suppress. So we get a suppress. All right. Succeed and miss. Okay, great. So we were able to suppress them. So he can they cannot fire next turn. They would have to use an action to um, do that. So our next shot is going to be at the insurgents. And there's four of them. And we only got one shot left. And we did not defeat the cover. We did, it was just a total miss. So that was the soldiers of first turn. And uh, we did pretty good, but the insurgents and the terrorists will get their say in this. And that is for video two.